And this is to go even further beyond! Since Dragon Ball resurrected itself with Battle of Gods, Goku has been on quite the journey. He obtained the powers of the gods, and now he has possibly even surpassed them. However, despite these achievements, there's only one thing on his mind. Defeat the god who started it all. One day, Goku wants his long-awaited rematch with Lord Beerus, and soon he might very well get it. Especially after Whis hinted that Goku's mastering of Ultra Instinct is soon from over. While Dragon Ball Super has been on hiatus, the manga has steamrolled along, giving us juicy new details about the direction our favorite Saiyan is heading. So, in advance, spoiler warning! In Chapter 68 of the DBS manga, we learn that although Goku has made amazing strides since the Tournament of Power, he still has a long way to go when it comes to fighting Whis. Every one of Goku's punches are blocked or parried. Goku is continuously knocked to the ground. Why? Because Goku is simply trying to copy Whis's movements to master Ultra Instinct further. However, like with any martial arts technique, Whis informs Goku that he needs to develop his own style. Also, Goku has a long way to go fully mastering Ultra Instinct. According to Whis, entering Ultra Instinct is just the starting point. An example can be Super Saiyan 1 compared to Super Saiyan 3. Whis's mastery of Ultra Instinct is greater than Goku's, and the Grand Priest's mastery is greater than his. Also, according to Beerus, angels are always using Ultra Instinct, unlike Goku who can only maintain the form for a short period of time. In classic Goku fashion, this news excites him as he now has new heights to stride for. This should excite us as Dragon Ball fans too. Since the days of Dragon Ball, Goku has fought tooth and nail to become the strongest, and now can be deemed one of the strongest mortals in existence after defeating Jiren in the Tournament of Power. With no other mortals in his path except Vegeta, who's on his own journey, Goku's mastery of Ultra Instinct sets him on a path to battle the gods, which I know we are all dying to see their full power on display. This all bears the question though. Even with Ultra Instinct in his tool belt, will it be enough to give Goku the upper hand against the gods? More importantly, will it give Goku the power he needs to defeat Beerus in their eventual rematch? Dragon Ball Super's Battle of Gods film made the power gap between Goku and Beerus clearer than the reflection on Krillin's shaved head. However, Goku has made tremendous strides since then, such as ascending beyond Super Saiyan God, fusing Kaioken with his Super Saiyan Blue form, and of course, mastering Ultra Instinct. Since the aforementioned Battle for Earth, Goku may have very well already closed the power gap, and by further mastering Ultra Instinct, could surpass Beerus. Beerus knows this too. During Goku's battle with Hit, Beerus was amazed over how far Goku had progressed in such a short period of time. He was still confident at the time that he could beat Goku, but showed concern when Whis mentioned Goku still has his heart set on taking down the Universe 7 God. If we're being honest, Beerus should be concerned because Goku's rate of progression has always been on another level due to his Saiyan heritage. A prime example of this is right before the Tournament of Power. Goku was able to bring his fight with Toppo, who is a God of Destruction candidate, to a stalemate. A short amount of time later, Goku's already surpassed Toppo and the man who was considered to be the strongest mortal in existence, Jiren. So yeah, I would be a bit concerned too. Although not fully mastered, Goku now has the powers and respect of all the gods. Technically, he's on their level of power now in his current state, and if theories hold true, Goku's trajectory leads him to becoming the next angel of Universe 7. Now, we have to give Beerus some credit. When Beerus and Goku fought the first time, he only used 70% of his power. With the other 30, and this is according to the manga, Beerus is one of, or very well might be, the strongest god of destruction throughout the multiverse. Even if Goku closed the power gap, if they were to fight right now, that universe-shaking fight could go either way. However, after a few more years of training and Goku fully masters Ultra Instinct, it might be time to retire Lord Beerus. So when will this once-in-a-lifetime rematch happen? As Goku vs Beerus served as the door that opened Dragon Ball to a whole new world, their rematch should be the one to close it, possibly even ending Dragon Ball's run. If Goku is to become an angel, I can see his fight with Beerus being his final test to prove that he deserves to be within the circle of gods. It also serves as the perfect ending to Goku's arc, from Planet Vegeta escape artist to one of the strongest in the entire multiverse. 
The story is there, and once Goku can fully master Ultra Instinct, Beerus just needs to sign the metaphorical contract. But the question is, will he? Will this fight actually ever happen? The way Beerus carries himself among the Z Fighters is that he is an unstoppable god. He can do what he wants when he wants, and if anyone has anything to say about it, he'll blow up the planet. Friends or not, with Beerus' temper, he'll do it too, and the Z Fighters know that. This dynamic is what makes their relationship with Beerus work and creates the interactions we love to see. Our heroes need to hold on to their fear of Beerus, meaning Goku can never defeat Beerus. He also may not have to. Goku doesn't need to beat Beerus to prove his strength. As we mentioned before, Goku has already done that by earning the respect of the gods and constantly shows his growth against those he faces. When the time comes, Beerus will know when Goku surpasses him and when it's time to take the mantle. Likely to save himself the embarrassment of losing, Beerus will make some kind of excuse as to why he can't fight Goku. Like, Goku must defeat Monaka, who was Beerus in disguise before fighting him. Of course, Monaka will be off-world or not feeling well. However it does play out, it's a matter of when rather than if Goku will surpass Beerus. That goes for anyone else who stands in his way too. You better watch out, Zeno. Oh, all this Goku talk. Who we really need to talk about is Vegeta. Did you know that he's being set up to surpass Beerus and become Universe 7's new God of Destruction? Probably not, because Goku always steals the limelight. Put some respect on the Prince of All Saiyans name. 